Hey guys, how's it going? This is Red Knight One here at your service, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I am your host, Red Knight One here, and last time, last video though, we decided to go over to the deep jungle to find out what to get the other important components. This time, we're actually in uh, we're actually in Monstro, and I have a very good reason why. Because you see, I know that I'm supposed to go back over to the um back to Hollow Bastion for some components though, but however, don't worry though, I might as well show off though. You see, back over there though, you have to get the other requirements though that have been added brand newly, such as Elixir, which are the components you kind of needed, the next is Defense Up. Now the ones that have Vital on it though, those are the ones you're going to have to use later on, which is pretty good. There are many things I will show off though. Heart guard. Now the heart guard is is actually raises max HP and defense as well. It reduces it, reduces the damage by 20 from dark attacks. Pretty good item if you want to actually use that against darkness enemies. Tree snars is kind of like one of those items. It reduces fire, ice, and lightning damage by 20% though, and it's pretty good for defense if you want to stay more Trinity style. Atlas Armlet though raises max MP and defense, also enhances magic and summoning power, good for Sora. <coughs> and also lastly is the Crystal Crown. The details will come in later though, but luckily though we can actually get those two remaining components here and the other one which I'll show later on in the next clip. Now <coughs> my reason why I decided to do it in Monstro is because later on we're gonna actually do it in the other world is we're gonna do it later on for a side quest mission we're not gonna do it <laughs> in this chapter because we're still Trinity hunting and we are still Dalmatian rescuing <coughs> pardon me I'm still not doing so well but anyway over here though I do want to show off a couple of things though such as what does the encounter plus do I might as well explain. The Encounter Plus, no matter where you are though, the Heartlesses will keep coming, spawning in like nuts. And the moment you actually equip it though, they're gonna keep tacking, they're just gonna keep coming out no matter what. So occasionally, if you try to go an area without an Encounter Plus though, they're not gonna likely show up until later on, or if you go to different rooms which they have to spawn at. This is actually only good though if you ever wanted to actually level grind, or if you want to do component hunting, or just treasure hunting. So far though, I want to show this next part though. This is the same area as last time. I did a co-host with X Darkness Riku X, a co-host commentary on Monstro, which I kind of did before. And that was actually back then though when I actually did a let's play with it. Now, I will do this though. If you wanted to actually revisit the co-hosting commentary though, I will post the link probably on the bottom if you guys want to see the co-hosting commentary again. <clears throat> if you don't feel like it and you just want to continue on, I understand. I'm just going to try and keep posting them as much as possible because editing takes forever to try and actually get it going. Especially when you're going component hunting. And Trinity hunting is kind of a little fun because you actually have a checklist to tell you where, where you have to find them. But the component hunting is not because you have to actually remember or you have to look it up on the wiki to determine where to find them and how to actually get them. So far though, Monstro is sort of kind of like my favorite because of the cool music that's actually playing in it because you're actually fighting inside a whale! And it's so big! Feels as though that you're actually fighting in Wolf Jump Jump's stomach, but... However, it's... It's sort of tedious though, but it, it, the hard part is, is that... There is one thing I did not like though, and it's sort of like a maze because you can actually get lost pretty easily. And the last time I did a co-host commentary on this one though, it was very annoying though, just to go through all this maze stuff. Like you have to go this way and that way and so forth. <clears throat> anyway, the component though, like I showed last time, credit goes to X Darkness Riku X. Here you have to find the component for the Frost Stone, and you have to get it from here. Now, this is a little tricky because apparently sometimes the boss, the ghost, will not show up until later on. But until you have to beat the boss, the general boss in general. And you have to come back for it and you have to keep fighting the ghost 
so that way you can actually get the opponent. Now, if it does not show up after you beat the boss, don't worry, just, just keep wailing on them until it later shows up. This is actually pretty good for actually just level grinding, because, well, I know that level grinding is a little tedious sometimes, but I would suggest that until you fight against the side quest bosses. And I'm playing this in hard mode, <clears throat> so that means one thing. I'm going to have the toughest, hardest fight with the other side quest bosses, and oh boy, this is going to actually be annoying. So... It's not... It's not actually, um, difficult, though. You just, you just gotta remember the pattern of what you have to do. <clears throat> so, apparently, for this one, there isn't a side quest boss. It's gonna be only in two areas, which is Agrabah and the Neverland. But there's also one more side quest mission, but I would suggest doing that one when you're, like, level 60 or higher. So that way you can actually take it on regularly or solo -y. So... My only plan is, is that once I get all the components needed, I want to show off the last format of this. I mean, you're supposed to get a really good weapon. <clears throat> I mean, you get a really, really cool reward, though, later on. See, that's that's what a counter plus does. It, it just spawns them regardless of what you do. Now, if I had not put that on, though, if I had not put that on, the Heartlesses will not show up. So you want to actually have that encounter plus on with you if you want to spawn out the enemies. Um, it does become pretty good if you want to get the components you want it, but sometimes it's not that reliable because sometimes, though, the harder ones are going to be very, very annoying. <clears throat> So, apparently, it's a little, it's sometimes reliant and sometimes not reliant. You want to actually use it only on the areas that are very reliant, such as this one and the other ones. And sometimes, though, you don't want to use it, though, that's going to be very hard to get. Because sometimes in a counter plus, if you want to get that component, though, it will not actually show up for you to get it what you want. And it's just annoying to get it. Oh, I'm so sorry. But anyway, <clears throat> the only good news is, is that once we actually get the components we wanted, we not only craft more goods, but also later on I will show off more progress, though, on the Let's Play. I will also show off where to get the other new components you can actually get, because, well, we are still Trinity hunting, and, well, once we manage to actually get further and further <coughs> into the Let's Play, um, I will also show off the Agrabah side quest mission. I will have one more co-host commentary to join me. <clears throat> and I think this one's going to be familiar. Okay, right now. Here we go. This is the one. Yep, here it is. This is a ghost. <clears throat> Regular attacks do not work against it. Spells do not work against it. The only way to hurt it is potions. Yeah, it's a little weird. I have to get... It, it, it's very hard to tell. You want to do two things, though, which is buying the item, which isn't so hard if you have plenty of money. The other is just kind of farming, but I would suggest buying plenty of high potions, because this is gonna, it will actually go down. See? Now that you notice, though, the, you get the frost stone from it. Once again, credit goes to X Darkness Riku X for looking it up. And I had, like, the biggest trouble trying to figure this out, though, on my first playthrough without a wiki. <laughs> Part of me. Oh boy, I'm not feeling so good. So, see, there it is. Frostone. And luckily, though, we only have one more to go. So if this one shows up again and you manage to actually get the Frostone you needed, you can actually get the other stone, which is the Blazing Stone, which you get later on in Hollow Bastion. You can easily complete the Crystal Crown. Which isn't too bad, actually. <clears throat> So, later on, I'll probably show off what they'll actually look like later on, and of course, the editing will look a little weird, but it kind of actually gets the job done. <clears throat> so naturally, though, you do want to only level grind a little with a counter plus, but once again, it's not that reliant. And of course, this one is not so hard. Yes, I already gave you tips on how to actually get it, but the good news is, 
is that um, two areas though will not be so hard to actually get. But there's going to be one drawback though because later on in the next, uh, in the fourth level, the fourth world. <clears throat> no, actually, um, uh, fourth world would actually be um. Oh, no, hollow back. No. Okay. Uh, Destiny Island is the. Hold on. Uh, in the heart is prologue. Same thing with Destiny Island. World one is the help world of. Okay. I'm... Okay. Once we get to Agraba, there is going to be the most annoyingest one I might mention later, which took forever. It took like an hour to actually get. And I'll probably show that off later. Once you have enough high potions, you want to keep them stocked though, so that way you don't waste them. Moving on, though, is the Trinity I'm going to show off. The next Trinity you want to pick up is over here. <clears throat> because the White Trinity is scattered one area each. So you want to actually go get those before you go any further. If you're aiming for 100% complete in casual, in standard mode, you want to get all the Trinities at all times. Make sure you actually... Pack of oh, pardon me for one second while we're actually um uh, for um for some good reason uh oh, that was I was actually doing something to get pizza for some um uh, for some uh, for some reason though the Trinity hunting is not too bad and it's. Sort of pretty good for small camp. Also, Donald got a level up, which is pretty good. Okay, this is the area. You want to come to Chamber 6. When you come to Chamber 6, though, this is the area that has that White Trinity. As you can see right there, there it is right there. You want to actually get that White Trinity on there. Before you get it, you want to clear out the Heartlesses, because if you don't clear out the Heartlesses, you're going to have a hard time getting it. Oh. Alright, I'm going to let you look at this. I'll be right back. Once again, you gotta clear up the area, because if you do not clear up the area, though, you're not gonna get that trinity. So make sure you clear up the area at all times. I hope I did not step on my mic. You want to clear up the area, get the trinity. Ooh, dark matter. That's good. Actually, come in handy. Those are the hardest of material components to actually get. They're scattered. I don't know how you're gonna get more of them. I'll probably show it off. All right. So right now, this is the last one. So next time, I'm gonna show off how to get the blazing stone in. Not Hall of Ashes, but mine's purple. In Halloween Town. So, I'll see you guys next time. Red Night 1, signing out.